the next thing left for us to do is the okay before looking into the total itself I'm gonna to have to take care of these two gender and room type let's move them there and I need a combo box let's get a combo box in place for both components combo box and we're gonna draw that somewhere let's bring it here we need two of those anyway one here and just copy across another one here so I'm gonna call that room type Yes. So we don't know if it's going to be single or double or family size. Right. So let's take care of gender first. So I'm going to call that CHK gender. Now, room time. So let's just call that CHK room type. Right. Copy that. Now double click on the form load itself. Right in here. Paste that. Dot items. Dot odd room type. So space in there. Okay, now let's copy this. We need three of those. So this first one will give it space at the top. All right, so the first room type, that can be single. The second one can be double. The third room type, that can be family size. Right. Now, CHK gender. add item copy and paste there let's copy all of this the gender can be male or female and you also retain your rights not to say anything male or female or male not to say anything that goes to that so if I run the system now there we go so we can select gender as female and we can select type of room here instead of no I don't want no there if I select that I want it to give me either female or female so what I what I'll do is let's get the name of this yeah that's the name copy that and double click on this and let's go for if chk gender dot text equals female okay. then that very text box dot text equals female let's say dot clear and we clear it first then because there's something in there and then we enter a female right there paste it there okay I think this is supposed to be double equals we can also say else or just copy and change it around if it's male there all right that is taken care of so let's run that and see gender is female gender is male gender is nothing that should be no okay let's come back here if it's nothing the system can always default back to no if it's empty this becomes no no gender 
so we'll run it again no gender gender layer and no okay that's fine what about room type room type i want that to give us the cost of everything so double click on this i'm going to copy this so let's say if this dot text equals single so I need the name of that very object here what is the name okay copy that double click then this dot text equals let's give it a price single room how much maybe 70 pounds there okay if is double and if is okay if it's double then let's go for 130 if it's family size let's go for 160 a night right and if it's empty If it's clear, this is clear too. Right. Okay, that is fine. So if I run it, type of room single that is seventy pounds, and this one as a male. Okay month so months can be may or whatever i think maybe we should have combo box here as well for one two and three okay to populate those and this extension you can always enter your own extension number for that very room all right so we need more combo box so i need one two three more combo box maybe copy this copy and drop it right there what is the name of that no name that's good all right chk month that's nice and we just populate it with the whole month and this one the day all right and the year Okay, so farm load. Let's come in here. CHK. The month. So we just populate that again. That's for the months. So let's populate the month. So this one is going to be January, Feb. All right, and so on. Okay, the date and so on. The months are now in place. So let's run it and see. There we go. So we can select the month and then populate this as usual. So the month is May. Okay, what about date? Day, nothing. Year, nothing. So let's take care of both. 
So right here, might as well use a for loop for. Let's say int day equals one comma day. Uh, let's just say d because that seems to be too long d let's say it's less than 32 and d equals d plus 1 ok now so chk day dot items dot add and what we add in we add in the day so that will give us the day and what about the year let's say the year let's copy this I run this for so that you guys see what I'm talking about so on form load we have the month and today's date is 22 so we enter 22 so the year we need to enter the year in here so let's come in here close that I'm just gonna copy this paste that in here let's change this to Y for year Says chk year dot items dot add. So what we are adding is y and close that. Okay, the first year we want to deal with now is this very year, and let's say it's less than and equals to if we add. Maybe we should add 50 to that. Okay, I think that might be too. Uh, 50 is too much. Maybe 20. Paste that in there. 20 and just put 3 in there. Okay. So we are able to select the year. Okay. Or well, maybe we'll start from. Yeah, why not? Let's let's run it. So we come in here, we select the month, then select and select the year. Let's say this is the year. So we know all of that. All of those information need to be. We need to feed those information in here as well, so that we can use that to populate here okay you see here we have gender is zero so there if I select gender is that so that whoever data is that is Susan that will change definitely change and the room type that's double if I click on save you see that is changed and the cost it's appeared in there okay that's what I want to do for the year and so on as well okay so in here this needs to be changed though. okay all right it's left for you to change that okay so let's move on and exit now that this is working as expected so I just need to show you guys all the content all the lines of code inside the form load all of those operations are inside the form load. Okay, have a good look at it. Alright. And there we go. Okay, now on each of these combo bombs, double click on that. Oh, I've done that. I think I need which one do I need? The month is done. Is it? No, it's not done yet. Okay, 
because I copied it. All right, let's come in here. Come to the property events is because I copied that. I'm gonna get rid of that very name for, from it. All right, so take it off. Yeah, so it will now have its own individual name right there. So if is the month, let's just say whatever is in there equals the that whatever is in here equals this okay what i'll do is the text as the month the text equals let's say convert dot to string whatever is in here paste that in here dot text and column so anything that is in here that will be entered into that very text box let's run it and you see what i mean so if i come to month select that and select january you see that june and so on okay so I have to do it like that so that this data can, can be seen here. So when I click on save, there we go. Okay, so let's say we change it to October and save. You see, you click on this, that works as well. Alright, so we want to repeat the same thing for this very one here. And this one, the year as well. So close that so i'm just going to copy this copy and paste and change it to run come in here now double click on this okay we have the same problem let's select that that and come in here change it around and i'm going to repeat the same thing for the year there we go so they now they are now individual on their own right is that but I need the names that is four months then what is the name of that one what is this called that's a day copy come right there and change that to day good and finally in the year paste that copy change this to year I think this might be year I don't know no let's get the right name okay it's in lowercase all right paste all right all of that is now taken care of all that is left to do now is to sort out the total let's enter the right month and year there and the year does that gender female room type double all I just need to do now is click on this and we can just change this as well then okay for how many days let's come for me all right so how long are you gonna be there for till all right that's fine okay so room number that's the room extension number so when we click on this we want the cost of the room and that okay so let's take care of that now 